everyone, welcome back. It's another lockdown. I've lost count of where we're up to, but that means it's another week of Kids Church Online. I'm so glad you could join us today and we're going to kick off with our song. Do you know the books of the New Testament yet? I'm really hoping you're going to impress me when we finally get back to church in purpose person with how well you know them all but let's have one more practice let's sing our songs now the books of the new testament Welcome to another exciting episode of the Good News Quiz. Well, let's meet our contestants who are going to be battling it out today to find out who remembers the most about what we've learned about Elijah this term. Here we have Jackie. Hi, Jackie. How are you? Hi, everyone. I'm doing well, thanks. That's great. And we've got Kieran. Hi, everyone. I'm going great. And we've got Frank. Hi, everyone. Oh, Frank, you're also testing your buzzer. Yeah. Oh. Okay, well, let's do that then. Frank, test your buzzer. Yep, okay, that works. Uh, Kieran? Right. That seems to work. And Jackie? Okay, I think we are ready to go. We're ready to begin, so let's spin the wheel and see which week we'll be starting off with. about week three not that long ago hopefully lots all right here we go here's our first question about week three why did Elijah feel alone and afraid <coughs> Jackie um, because Jezreel was trying to kill him exactly right Jezebel was trying to kill him she's threatening him he was scared now, where did Elijah hide? In the dead one, Mount Sinai? Ooh, too early, Kieran, too early. Before he went to the cave on Mount Sinai, he went somewhere else. I might give you points, though, if no one else knows the answer. Where did he hide the first time? In the widow's house? No, after that. Okay, I'm just going to tell you guys. No, no points for this question. I'm sorry. He hid under a bush in the wilderness, under a broom bush that just grows flowers, not brooms. 
I was disappointed yeah. to find that out. Okay, back to the questions. Why did the angel visit Elijah? What did the angel bring when he visited Elijah? <coughs> yes, food and water. He did bring him food and drink. Exactly right, Jackie. Good job. All right, next question. You might get this one, Kieran. Which mountain... Oh, Frank's just cut you off. Mount yes, Sinai? Frank. Uh, but in our story, it was called by another name, Frank. Do you know the other name? Starts with an H, Frank. He's thinking, he's stroking his imaginary beard. Frank's got nothing. Anyone else? What was the mountain called? That starts with an H. <coughs> Jackie? Was it Hebron? It's Horeb. Mount Horeb. I don't know if I should give Frank points for that. What do you think? Frank says yes. <laughs> yeah, maybe Frank, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Here's our next question. How did Elijah experience the presence of God up on the mountain? Kieran? Uh, in a whisper. In a whisper. That's right. Or in the silence. Depends which Bible translation you read. But it was very quiet. Either way, when Elijah experienced God. Okay, here's our next question. Even after Elijah had experienced God, he was still feeling discouraged. Why was he still feeling discouraged? Jackie. He thought he was the only one who trusted in God. Exactly. He thought he was the only one left who was still being faithful to the Lord. And here's our very last question. God told him he was wrong. How many faithful people did God tell Elijah there still were in Israel? Here. A thousand. More than one thousand. <coughs> Jackie? There were seven thousand. Seven thousand faithful people still left in Israel. Excellent work, contestants. It's time for us to spin the wheel again. Contestants, I was the seventh king of Israel after the division of the kingdom. I did more evil in the eyes of <coughs> Jackie. King Ahab. It's King Ahab. Well done. Let's spin our wheel. contestants. I lived in Zarephath in Sidon. I was worried I would not be able to feed my family due to a lack of rain. I met Elijah. Well, Frank! Is it the widow? Yes, go on, Frank. I thought that might have been confusing because we don't actually know her name. So, yes, the correct answer is the widow. Points to Frank. Let's spin the wheel. It's week one. Let's see what our contestants remember about what we learned all the way back at the very start of term. Here's our first question. Elijah brought God's messages to the king. Who was the king of Israel? <coughs> Jackie. King Ahab. It was King Ahab. You're exactly right. Well done. All right, here's our next question. What had King Ahab done wrong? Frank! Uh, he was worshipping Baal. He was worshipping Baal. Exactly right, Frank. He was worshipping false 
gods, not the one true God. Okay, here's our next question. How did God judge Israel for this false worship of gods? <laughs> Jackie's buzzing in. Um, he sent a drought. He sent a drought, that's right, that there would be no rain in the land. Excellent. I think we're doing quite well. All right. Here's a tricky question. Okay, there's there's a few parts to this answer, so there might be might be a chance to earn some bonus points. Okay, how did God provide for Elijah? Hear it. He sent the ravens to give him food. He did send ravens to give him food. Exactly right. Anyone else got any other answers? Nothing. All right, let's leave. Frank! Yes? Uh, he provided unlimited flour and oil. He did, so that, uh, so that they could make bread. Well done, Frank. Good remembering. Excellent work. All right, let's move on to our next question. Why did the widow think that her son had died? <laughs> Jackie. Um, because of her sins? Yes, good one. She thought she was being punished for her sin and that's why her son had died. All right, here's our next question, more about the widow. Why did the widow say to Elijah, now I know that you are a man of God? <gasps> Frank. He resurrected her son? That's right, he raised her son from the dead. He had, the son had died, but Elijah, well, God did it really, but Elijah was there. Excellent work, Frank. All right, here's our last question for week one. What happened to all of the people that Elijah dealt with who trusted and obeyed God? <laughs> Hear it. They were saved. They were saved. Exactly right. They were rescued. The widow, her son, Elijah himself, everyone who trusted the Lord was rescued. Good job, everyone, on week one questions. Let's spin our wheel and see what we'll be asking questions about next. started. If you buzz in early, no points. Don't forget. All right. My name means my God is Yahweh. You can read about me in the book of Kings. I was a messenger from God. The Lord used ravens to... Elijah? It's Elijah, Frank. Well done. Points to Frank. Yes. Let's spin the wheel. See what's next. It's week two. Are you ready, contestants? Let's see what you remember about week two of this term. All right, here's our first question. Who did Elijah challenge to a contest with God? Oh, did you just buzz in, Frank? No. No, you just twitched. Okay. Uh, who was challenged to a contest with God? The Israelites. Not the Israelites, Kieran. <laughs> oh, Jackie's in. Second King chance. Ahab. Sorry? King Ahab. King Ahab. Yeah, kind of. Not really the question to answer. So right here. Kieran, try again. Yes, the prophets of Baal and Baal. I'll pay that. Well done, Kieran. Awesome work. Okay, tricky questions for week two. Let's see what happens next. Next question, guys. Where did this challenge take place? <coughs> Jackie. Mount Carmel. Yes, up on top of Mount Carmel. That's where the challenge took place. Now, what did Elijah do to the altar to make it more difficult. Frank. He poured seven 
Pits of water, buckets of water? Well, he definitely poured water on him, Frank. Close enough. Good job. Well done. Yes, Elijah poured water all over the altar and in a trench around the altar. Okay, here's our next question, contestants. How did Baal respond to the cries of his prophets? Frank? He didn't. He was on the toilet. <laughs> well, kind of, Frank, kind of. That was a suggestion that Elijah definitely made. Uh, but you're right, Baal did not respond. He did nothing, nothing at all. How did God respond to Elijah's prayer? Karen? He sent fire from the sky. He sent fire from the sky. The altar burned up, everything burned up. Well done, good remembering. All right, two more questions, team, for this round. How did the Israelites respond after this? What did the Israelites do in response to God sending fire, winning the contest? <coughs> Jackie. They worshipped him. They worshipped him. They recognised that he was the one true God. Good work. Well done. Last question for week two. What happened after the Israelites repented? What happened after they said that God was the one true God? <laughs> Karen. They were saved. They were saved by a particular way. Something had been missing from the land for three years. And then <laughs> Frank. The ark was returned? No, Frank. No, no we haven't even yeah. He said rain. He said rain. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you. Rain was the right answer. The ark, I don't even know where the ark is right now. It could still be in the temple, but it's not in Israel because the kingdom's divided now, Frank. All right. I think it's time to spin the wheel. Some of you have been practicing this at home, but what about our contestants? Who of our contestants thinks that they can say our memory verse for this term? Buzz in when you're ready, contestants. Good try, Frank. All right, hit me. The Lord God who made the world and everything in it is the Lord of heaven and earth. Where's the prompt, Frank? Acts 17.24 Pretty close, Frank. Pretty close. I think you only added in one extra word. But not a bad effort. Anyone else? Anyone else want to give it a go? No. I think we'll just have to give the points to Frank. Well done, Frank. Yeah. The God who made the world and everything in it is the Lord of heaven and earth. Acts chapter 17 verse 24. Let's spin that wheel. It's a Who Am I? Let's get started. I was a farmer who burnt my equipment. <gasps> Here's our first question. Who had God told Elijah would help him with Frank? Elisha. Well done, Frank. You're exactly right. It was Elisha who was going to help Elijah with his work. All right, next question. What did Elisha do after Elijah threw his cloak around him? <laughs> Jackie. 
he went to say goodbye to his family and then he killed his ox and burned his farm. Exactly right, Jackie. Elisha knew he wasn't coming home, so he said goodbye to his family and burnt up all his farm stuff. Now, next question. What did Elisha ask Elijah for? Um, the ability to continue his work? Yes, kind of. He asked for something quite specific. He wanted to continue Elijah's work and he asked for extra something. Any clues? Any ideas? Kieran? Money? No, he didn't ask for money. He asked for a double portion of Elijah's spirit. Trick question. That was a hard one. What happened when Elijah struck the Jordan River with his cloak? Frank, oh, just got in there in time. Uh, the river parted. The river parted, exactly. It divided in two and Elijah and Elisha crossed over on dry ground. Now, there were a lot of prophets around. How did the prophets know that Elisha was the one who'd been chosen to continue Elijah's work. Oh, Frank, you're being very fast, yes. He performed the same miracle that Elijah did. Well the Jordan. done, Frank. You must have been listening well last week. I was helping you teach it, Michelle. I remember, Frank. We were right there. All right, next question. What came between Elijah and Elisha when they were walking and talking together? Chariots and horses on fire. Chariots and horses on fire. How amazing. And now, oh, two more questions to go. How was Elijah taken up to heaven? <laughs> Hear it. On a flaming chariot. The flaming chariot was part of it, and there was something else. <laughs> <laughs> he was taken up to the clouds in a whirlwind. In a whirlwind. I'm going to give you both the points for that. Well done. Well done. One more question to go for this week. Here's our last one. What was left behind after Frank? Um, Elijah's cloak. Well done, Frank. Oh, I'm really pleased with how much you've remembered from last week. Well, now it's time to spin the wheel again. It's a Who Am I? It's our final round, 20 points up for grabs. Let's see who's gonna grab them. Who am I? I was King Ahab's palace administrator and a faithful Israelite. I hid 100 prophets in... <gasps> Jackie! Obadiah. It was Obadiah. Well done. Thought that was going to be a tricky one, but I didn't trick Jackie. Excellent job. Let's check the scores. <laughs> Well, looking at our scoreboard, we can see that today's winner here at the Good News Quiz is your friend and mine, Frank. Yeah! Oh, well yeah. done, Frank. Well done. Yeah. High five. Awesome, awesome work, Frank. I hope you got just as many questions right as Frank, or maybe even more. Probably want more. You'd probably want more, but who knows? Well done, Frank. I hope you enjoyed re-looking at Elijah. And next week, we'll be looking at what happens next with Elisha. The story doesn't stop there. Elisha takes over Elijah's ministry and we'll find out more about what happened to him next week. Well, thanks to our contestants here at the Good News Quiz. It was great that you could come along and test your knowledge of Elijah. Thanks, Jackie. Yeah, thanks, Michelle. Thanks, Karen. Thanks for having us. Thanks, Frank. Thanks, Michelle. We'll see you all 
next week. Bye. Bye. Whether we're here at church in person or whether we're still online, I'll see you then. Bye.